Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In the last episode, we came to Cosmo Canyon here and started ca uh, uh, exploring around. Uh, and got ourselves a chocobo, and um, we caught a chocobo first. Uh, met the ranch owner and found out that these chocobo can fly on certain areas. So that's kind of cool. Also, um, equipment, yeah you. Uh, yeah, I saw that Yuffie got a weapon level up, which means she gets another slot over here. Critical hit damage plus 10, MP recovery, lightning damage up, ice damage up. Uh, let's increase ice damage. Anybody else get a... no, okay. Actually, uh, I should also see if those two new bagel things are good for us. Uh, it's good for you. How about you? Perfect. Okay, awesome. Uh, eventually we'll be able to transmute them, I guess. Uh, let's see, so... Oh, we can make these now. Now that we have Planet's Mercy. Sedative and Adrenaline. So does this say what these do? Oh, we can... Transmute a whole bunch of stuff now that we get to the next level there. Planet's Favors. Planet Splendor. Mist Giga Potion. Oh lord. And a Giga Potion here. Wow. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Still way ahead over here. Still nothing we can do there. Nothing we can do there. Okay. Cool. Great. So let's see, adrenaline is, yeah, rouses you from Super and quells one's fury. I've never actually used them though, I probably should try it at some point, but first things first, we have a person to talk to here. Wow, I just need to take two steps. Apony, you always seem to find me, no matter where I go. This is the ranch owner's <gasps> daughter. Let me guess, you're Shawnee? <sighs> we were talking with your mom earlier. She said you weren't using the training facility she built. Figured if you're not up for it, then we could give Abony her exercise. Yeah, she used to be a racer and fell off a chocobo, no, and I guess she just don't. has a fear of it now. We'll bring her back. <laughs> All right, it's settled. And Chocobo Whisperer Yuffie gets first dibs. Complete training course number one. I guess that's this. In Glide de Chocobo, your goal is to earn points by passing through as many rings as possible before your talents touch the ground. Use Abony's swift vertical mobility to reach high scoring rings while keeping yourself aloft on the current generator's updrafts. Uh, let's see, we need 3600 to get a new weapon for Yuffie. Heck yeah. Do, 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 do. This is great! Part 2. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how, how smooth it is. Oh my god, oh my god, I had to hold, I had to hold, I had to hold it! <laughs> I had to hold it! Okay. That's my bad. This is great! Okay, that's a little better. See a treasure chest over there that I guess we'll get to <laughs> elsewhere. Okay, so we got the updrafts here. I'm glad this isn't timed. This is pretty neat though. Appreciate it. And we get to see all like the runes and stuff over here, which is really cool. Uh, let's try to get right in the middle here. I mean, this is only training course one, so it's probably going to be easier, but this doesn't seem like the worst. Unless I screw it up. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dovey, you, you dipped just a little too much. You, you you went too close to the sun. Okay, and that's where we're supposed to land. 
We missed the top one. Oh, we didn't. Wow. You like that? Yay. That was cool. <laughs> you know, if I were racing at the gold saucer, I'd bet on me. Don't let it go to your head. I could do what you just did in my sleep. <laughs> Before you start talking big, you gotta at least finish the other regiments first. <laughs> okay, alright. Gonna move the goalposts, huh? Fine, I'll take whatever you throw at me. Okay, so we still need to get the best score there. Thought we got 36, but you know, whatever. I did miss a bunch of points at the end there, so get up, I get it. So, <laughs> essentially, I just have to not get um, too uh, ahead of myself with dropping. Yeah. It's just. Oh, okay, we just missed that entirely. Basically, just have to not drop into the through the uh, through the other one. I gotta glide nicely through this. Okay, I should make all of them now. <laughs> If I miss that other one, is that gonna be a problem? Uh, not if I get both of these. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, I had to drop just a second earlier. Actually, I probably could have just let go of the stupid button, Dovey. Alright, I'll just cut to the end of this. There we go, beautiful. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, so you needed the perfect score, got it. Okay, well, we got a, uh, complete. We got a new weapon for Yuffie, so let's try it out. Crescent Sickle, bewitching weapon whose blade is studded with smaller daggers. That looks really cool. Shooting star, let the shuriken fly across the battlefield, mowing down all enemies it touches. That's cool. It's a, uh, magic one as opposed to an attack one, but I'm okay with that. And let's give you... Let's give you... Let's give you an MP... Uh, yeah, let's give you an MP of material. We actually haven't been using any of those. Uh, can still give you an attack power plus 20, though. Have two attack power plus 20s. Uh, Increases damage added to attacks by elemental materia. Slightly fills ATB. Yeah, that's always good for you too. Okay, awesome. So let's get back on our. There you are. Uh, that's great. Okay, let's just... You know what? We're gonna fight you guys. Hey, you first! Okay, let's see. Is your new ability... Your new ability is a 1. That's good. Let's use it again! Beautiful, wonderful. Chocobos, here you are. Alright, so let's continue exploring over here and see what else we can find with our beautiful little Chocobo friends. And I guess fight on these two. Abra something or other. 
did I use Doppelganger or did I did I use the see the thing like moving across the battlefield but maybe it's just because I'm not looking properly. Okay, I saw it that time. Man, I love the music. You guys doing great over there? All our other half of the party all the way in the back there. Where's my Choco friend? There you are. Chocobo, 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 Why do you keep singing? I, you know what? I, I'm not gonna ask because then you'll you'll get self-conscious and you'll stop, and that's not what I want. I just want to show the owner that we have a Chocobo. Look at us. Understand how Shawnee must be feeling. Thrown from the saddle by Apony, her best friend since childhood, must have hit her hard. Mm. Let's see what we can give you. What do you deserve? Treasure hunter? I feel like the gee stuff would work here. <laughs> Considering, like, you know, the area we're in. There we go. Uh, you know, let's edit the colors, though. Can we? Eh. It's not really gonna make a difference. This is another chocobo course. Probably a more advanced one that we can't do right now. Probably. Okay. Uh, come on, come on! You can hop down over there. So we got Chadley back over here. Hey, buddy! I see you. So let's see how this works. The problem is, like, you can't see much, but also this is really cool. Can I make it onto that? Kinda want to. Let's see, I remember... Whoa. Not doing that yet, thank you. Yeah, I saw some... <laughs> okay, I just found a bunch of stuff that I didn't know was here. <laughs> Okay, that was that was fun though. I like that. Haha, I knew there was something to sniff out here. Yeah, that's right. Some bunnies. Hey guys. I like how the bunnies aren't like terribly afraid of us. They're just like, oh, we'll get out of your way, thank you. Google medals, okay. So the tower. Let's backtrack a little bit. Tower's not over there. Yeah, this, uh, like, the ability to, uh... The ability to, um... Uh, what's it called? The ability to... You are weak. Oh, you're weak to ice. Whoops. <clears throat> to fly is definitely gonna add a nice layer to this area. I do like that each area has its own, like, you know, thing with it in that regard. Okay, so it kind of looks like it's just a straight shot towards the enemy, and you just kind of have to hope that you hit more than one to get the proficiency bonus. There you are. Come here, come here, come here, come here. So 
it's like this one. Aw. It's hello, please. Hey, dude. That's right, I got here before you. I found this before you found- Well, maybe I did hear you, I don't know. Who's your little cute? Who's your little pat on your head? You're not gonna give your little chinny scratch. What a good little baby. <laughs> She's really into this. Marsa Hoggins. Oh, what do you need to ice right now? Africa something or other. My favorite spell. Let's get some ice and jutsu going. I just love seeing the other half of my party like doing stuff from the sidelines there. Mostly just two of them though. The other two are just standing there because they don't have long-range weapons, but it's still kind of funny. I appreciate that they're helping. Because it's kind of weird when your whole party isn't together, and, you know, or, you know, when your whole party is together and the other guys just don't do anything, because, you know, you have to be limited by three members or whatever. Okay, this looks like we can drop down from it, but other than that, I don't see anything that we can actually do here right now. Training course one. So what was up here? Oh, it was the stop, right? I was like, I already forgot. So we have to figure out how to get up there, to the in front of us. Perhaps maybe even a staircase of some sort. <clears throat> how crazy, <coughs> excuse me, how crazy would that be if there was just a, a staircase? Very crazy. It's, it, the answer is very crazy. No one makes staircases these days. Oh my gosh, a staircase. I can't believe it. I can't believe that worked. Uh... <laughs> Keep it together. I feel like I could have hit two people with that. I don't know, though. How'd you like that? <laughs> I don't know. I just. She's so fun. She's just a funny, fun little character. She's a she's a little goober gremlin, you know. It, you can't. I mean, I guess you can hate Yuffie, but you can't hate Yuffie. She's just a little goober. All right. Oh, it's down here. Wow. Was a nice a nice aerial view. Let's let's go up the thing here and get ourselves some Moogle medals, because there's always Moogle medals. There's always Moogle medals in, in the stand. And further up, further up, further up we go. Oh my god, this just keeps going. Oh my god, this just keeps going! Ooh, we got an antidote out of that. Heck yeah, that was worth the time. Look at these ruins, they're cool. Okay, so those big things over there are air vents, which is good to know. There's also flying ones, so... 
if we're diligent, we can find some fun ways to get around here. Sorry, Kate Sith. I know you just came all the way up here. Bye, everybody. Whee! And once more. Whee! This looks like it's the path to a uh, thingamahoo, is it? There are sites here dedicated to a Bahamut variant. A variant known as Bahamut Arisen, with armored scales red as the canyon soil, and an engine born of flesh mounted on its back. Its capacity for destruction far surpasses that of the original Bahamut. That's cool. So it's, it's up this way, huh? Okay. Ah, okay. It's in here. Muhammad Arisen Sanctuary Alpha. Let's take a look and see how cool they made Neo Bahamut. Yeah. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, that's... 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 That's something. Okay, that's a little easier than I thought it would be. That's the wrong one. <laughs> I pressed X instead of O. I did it again? <laughs> there we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. Chadley's gonna call me now. Oh my gosh. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Yeah, the materia I totally have right now. Okay, cool. Uh yeah, I'm I am looking forward to getting that summon because that summon is going to do uh, approximately twenty thousand bazillion damage. And Bahamut, it's Bahamut's Bahamut for a reason, you know? Bring it. It's on you. No, I'm yeah, best you first. You uh, abilities, Ice Ninjas, right here with you. Take that. Get lost. <laughs> Yeah, these things are really annoying because they can, you know, disappear, but when you just have rapid weakness attacks, it destroys them, which is great. You really like singing that, don't you? God, so what the heck is this? There's no way that this isn't going to be something later. I mean, it has a door that we can't open yet, so it means it's going to be something later. Does it show on the map now? Boing. Can we get onto here? No. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get on there. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm gonna do it. Can we just like... No. Okay. Huh. That's right. Oh god. Oh, there's a lot of crowding. <laughs> Just a hole in the wall. Aha! 
I knew there was something. There had to be something here. Multiple somethings. Hey, bunnies. What do we get? Ten chunks of chromite. Or if you're a Fire Emblem fan, it's chromite. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just looking around here. It's a lot of stuff for us to, uh, you know, to, to pick up here. Ooh, Templeway Life Spring. I was gonna say that that's needs more. This is neat. Take a drink every time I say this is neat. Don't do that, you'll die. That's two out of five. No, two out of six. Good, good counting job. Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. First, look for Those a weathered old ship, then scour the surrounding area. I trust you'll have no trouble finding this distinctive landmark. Sure. Dilapidated ship. I have to go all the way back to Junon. How the heck did a ship get here? Unless it's like not a ocean ship. It's entirely possible that it's not. Look at this, look at this cool, look at this cool area. Ancient baths. I love ancient ruins. They're neat. You have to be like, wow, somebody had to do this by hand. I mean, a lot of somebody's over a long period of time. You've got like castles and temples that used to take like, you know, decades to build. To, to build, not to build. And it's kind of wild that like, they ever got completed. <laughs> But uh, it's also just kind of really cool, you know? Okay, I feel like... Where is... It's underneath there. Okay, I had a feeling it would be underneath there. I just have to figure out how to underneath... Oh, there's a doorway right here. Cushions. Love those ancient Shinra cushion cushions. Two vials of Solaris. And that's it for that. One more box to pick. Okay, let's see. Let's look on the map. Let's find let's find one more place to go. Let's do this this enemy battle over here, if I can reach it adequately. Uh, you know, to do that though, let's head back over here and take this towards it. Yeah, I see you there. Can't hide from me. Probably should have healed. And let's let's land down over here. I'll land down under. Where we've been going in thunder. Can you feel? Can you feel the thunder? There's a boat here. There is a boat here. As I kill them. Stagger an enemy, unleash a limit attack. I mean I think I think uh Yuffie is actually no, Nope, she was she was near limit. Enough is enough. Uh yeah, let's let's assess you. No. I got this. I got 
Uh, Drodro. Rare species of errands prone to more extreme emotional fluctuations than their more common counterpart, expressing their anger and sorrow in their whole bodies. They release unique pheromones that hypnotize foe into taking on the feelings as their own. Okay, so I think that they're gonna give us, like, fury status, which... I think I can do that myself, can't I? No, that's haste. Adrenaline. No, okay. Sedative? That's interesting. So maybe maybe we're already Yeah, we're already furified. Are you weak to something? No. Uh let's use triple slash. I haven't used that in a long time. Remember when I used to love this move? Oh no! What do I do? Okay, well, I have staggered an enemy, and I also have my limit ready. So yeah, the fury lets us, uh, gives us more damage, but also uh, lets us use our limit abilities. Shout out to them teaching me the idea of fury 76 episodes into the game. <laughs> Whatever, it's, it's not like I would have used it before, but still, it's just kind of funny. So there is a there's a boat here. So apparently boats boats just kind of exist in the canyon. Maybe there used to be rivers. I mean, if there could be a river in the desert, there could be a river in the canyon, right? I'm gonna avoid these enemies for now. Actually, not. I just need to make sure there's nothing beyond it. There is something there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. It's mine. It's a Persona 5. Really good Persona 5 track. If you're wondering, if you're wondering. Yuffie is having the time of her life out here. Where's my where's my buddy? It didn't I say I was going to end off the episode. Okay, I did say I was going to end off the episode, but but you know, you know you know how much of a liar I am. Uh, we we are going to end off the episode though. Um, so let's just end it off by going on top of one of these things and seeing if we can just yeah we could just fly away. That's very, very cool. It just, yeah, lets you get airborne. And honestly, it's really nice if just to see the, um, like, general layout of the, the area, you know? I'm not gonna make it towards that. This is very, very cool. I, I love the idea for for this area with, with the flying chocobos. It's not like it's too big without the flying, because the chocobos are fast regardless, you know? Ah, uh, just can't make that. I don't think I could have made that either, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Level 4 with Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Next time, we're gonna continue our search of the desert and uh, find some fun stuff, probably. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.